All right, what's up, everybody? Dante Fido here, and I've got my Dragons of Tarkir fat pack here. So pretty super excited about this. This is kind of a thing that I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing every time there's a new set. I'm gonna get a fat pack of it, open it up, show you guys what's in it. Um, so let's go ahead and just kind of get right into this. Don't need to do a huge intro. Did that last time. Here we got, I believe it slides out just like this, yep, this is very cool, uh, yeah, this is still, this is a poster still, I just gotta find the end of it, where it's at, I believe it's right here, yep, Ooh, it's got the stickiness on it, there we go, yeah, check that out. That's pretty freaking sweet. So I'm working on a red-green dragon deck, and I actually bought sleeves that have this picture on it. So my red-green dragon deck is going to uh, red-green dragon deck is going to have these, uh, this picture on the sleeves. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, got the usual dragons of Tartier boot uh, player's guide. It's got all the cards in it. Good stuff. All the lore and everything. Every card that you're that we're gonna get in there. Um, so what we're hoping to pull is, I'm working on a red-green dragon deck, so we're hoping to pull some red-greens. There's, there we go. Yeah, these lands in these mountains look pretty sick. I'm definitely going to be using some of these. So, yeah. And then we've got, uh, the chase. Essentially here, this is pretty cool. Put your, put your cards in there. We got our packs. Along with our dice, we got the yellow, the yellow kind of golden one. That's pretty cool. And then we got our 80 lands with four more packs. And then we got two deck boxes, which have Sarkon and Narset, I believe. Yeah, Sarkon and Narset right there. Hopefully we're going to pull one of these two today and get our money's worth out of this. So, let's go ahead and actually open up the dice one first. So this is pretty cool. This is a really cool looking die right here. That's uh, that's very shiny there. Let me shut something out on this. So since I know it's a spin down life channel, so just so we don't take an hour with this. There's the one. There's the dragon's guitar tier symbol. Now I know. That's where it's at. <laughs> so this one's pretty cool. So then we've got. We've got our packs along with the uh, the card again that tells you all the rules and everything that unfolds, whatnot. Shows you how it all works in turn, which is very cool. Good stuff. So there's there's our packs. Go ahead and open the one that has the uh, all the lands in it now. Oops, my bad. All right. So this is our 80 lands right here. Very cool stuff. And these are the other four of our packs. So. Make sure these are all... Yep. Get these all looking cool right here. Alright. So we are ready to go ahead... Oops, I keep shaking the camera. My bad, my bad. Alright, we are ready to start into this. So what we're hoping to pull... We're hoping to pull anything that basically has the word Atarka in it. Because we want a Red Green Dragon. A Tarka Dragon Lord, a Tarka Monument... Uh, Tarkus Command, uh, pretty much anything like that. So, let's go ahead and start with the first pack, and get right into this. Alright, woo, red cards, that's a good start, I like red cards. Alright, and what do we got here? Dragon Fodder, this is a reprint actually, there's a lot of, a lot of old versions of these. So let's see, we got Dragon Fodder, Glaring Aegis, Sand Shaper Scavenger, Updraft Elemental, Dryden Eye Sentry, uh, Guardian Shield Bear, Sarkon's Rage, nice. Vial of Dryden Fire, which I guess there was a lot of hype about this card, and it's kind of like, eh. It deals two damage to Darted Creature, and that's pretty much it. Uh, Butcher's Glee, Ojitai Interceptor, 
First uncommon is Uka, uh, Ukid Cobra. Stormwing Dragon, very nice. This is a this is a pretty legit guard, uh, card. Fine first strike. Sits so shot for a 3 3 with Megamorph. When Stormwing Dragon, uh, Stormwing Dragon is returned, returned face up, put a 1 1 counter uh, on each other dragon you control. Not bad. Bell Toll Dragon, very nice. Not bad. It's a decent blue dragon. Flying Headsproof does the same thing pretty much. And our uncommon is Irish Shaman. Who, or our rare is Irish Shaman, who uh, is a 2 1. Red Shaman for 2 drop. 1 red, 1 additional. Irish Shaman can't be blocked except by 2 or more creatures. Has a Megamorph cost of 1. When Irish Shaman is turned face up, exile the top card of your library. Until the end of turn, you may play that card. Which is pretty cool. And if you can see in there, it's a Chit Shaman who drew a pretty peat heart in the air. Isn't that just adorable? Of course it is. And a mountain. And is this a token? No, this is just a magic thing. Alright. So that's the first one. Alright, next one. Oops, straighten out the camera again here. I keep moving it. Ah. Wow. Most difficult. Let's try the other end, shall we? Most difficult path to open NA. Holy crap, dude. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, nice. And let's see what we get. Alright, Champion of, Champion of Ar Arashan, Grave Purge, Dryden Scarred Bear, Anticipate, uh, Artful Maneuver, Revealing Wind, Vandalize, that's a pretty cool card, choose one, choose one or both, destroy target artifact or destroy target land, that's pretty cool, it's a 5 drop though, it's kind of expensive, Fate Forgotten, Flatten, Ancient Tarp, that. Yeah, okay. First rare is uh, Learn from the Past. Target player shuffles his or her graveyard into his or her library, then draw a card. Oh, nice. Ooh, Herd Chaser Dragon. Here we go. Uh, the 3 3 Flying with Trample and the Megamorph thing, where when it flips over, it put a plus one, plus one counter on it. So, not bad. Even Sun Striker. And our rare is. Sunbringer's Touch. Bolster X, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it gains trample until end of turn. Wow, okay, and that's a four drop sorcery for two green and two additional. Not bad. And we got a swamp with a goblin token. Alright. And yeah, nice. Not bad. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Wow, this is this is gonna be a thing. I'm just gonna have like all the difficulty opening these. Yeah, or it'll just super open super easy like that. Alright, whatever. Go rolling with it. Let's see what we got. Alright, Kolagon Storm Scener. Center Soul, Carsey Sadis, Sabretooth Outrider, Glade Watcher, Gurma Downer, Custodian of the Trove. Vulturous Avon, Fate Forgotten, Mist Hoof Kieran. First rare is, or first uncommon is Scion of Ugin, very nice. He's just a 4 4 6 colorless with flying, and that's it. Got that, got that Scion, uh, or that Ugin lore there. Lightning Berserker, this is a pretty decent card. It's a uh, 1 drop 1 1 with uh, tap for 1 red to give it plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn, and dash. Which isn't bad. Uh, great Teacher's Decree, Target, Sorcery, three, three additional and one white. Creatures, you control get plus two plus one, and it has Rebound, which means it plays again at your upkeep. And our rare is Berserker Onslaught. Enchantment for three additional, two red. Attacking creatures you control have double strike. Nice. That's actually not too bad if it wasn't for the fact that I actually already have four Tarkas. Um, which give all my dragons double strike anyway, so. And then we have an island with a Dijin Monk token. 2-2 two, two token was fine. Huh. Alrighty. Not bad, let's go to the next one. I 
the light. It, it's forcing me to open it this way. <laughs> they all have to open upside down, apparently. I don't know why. It's just the easier way. Well, let's see what we got. All right, light, uh, light walker, dutiful attendant, volcanic rush, dromaka warrior, updraft elemental, atarka beast breaker. It has the word atarka, and I don't like it. Custodian of the trove, summit prowler, stampeding elk herd. That card is funny. Um, vulturous, yeah, vulturous Avon. First uncommon is Silimgor Scorn. Um, explosive Vegetation. This is actually, I actually wanted one of these. This is actually a really good card. This is right up there, in my opinion, with uh, with Cultivate. Four drop, search your library for up to two basic land cards and put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. That's really good. That's basically just straight get you an extra two lands for a four drop. That's not bad. I'm definitely going to actually put that in my green red deck. And Self Inflict the Wound. And our rare is Deathbringer Regent, which is a two black five additional flying. When battlefield, uh, when death, blah, 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 when Deathbringer Regent enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand and there are five or more creature, other creatures onto the battlefield, destroy all other creatures. So he's just like a straight board wipe. If you've got a, if you got a bunch of like tokens and stuff on the field there. And we got a planes with a morph token. All right, all right, cool. Not bad. All right, got our next pack here. There we go. Now I opened it the right way. Hey, making progress. Doing good about life, right there. All right, and then we got Glaring Aegis, Corsi Sadis, Louis Calm, Champion of Arshan, Sandstepper, Sandstep Scavenger. Palace Familiar, Custodian of the Trove again, Vulturous Avon, Fate Forgotten, Miss Tov Kieran, first, uh, first uncommon is Rakasha Gravecaller, and that's uncommon Draconic Roar, not bad. Let's see what this does. It's two in an instant. As an additional cost of Draconic Roar, you may reveal a Dragon card from your hand. Do uh, Draconic Roar deals three damage to target creature. If you reveal, uh, if you reveal the Dragon card or control a Dragon as you cast Draconic Roar, Draconic Roar deals three damage to that creature's controller. So if you got a Dragon, it'll do three damage and to target player and then to target creature. So that's pretty cool. I'll probably actually include that in there in case an ice. Um, and then, oh, we got a mythic, Ojutai Exemplar, is very nice. Uh, two additional, two white. When you choose a con, when you, wow, creature human monk, 4-4. Four, four. When you cast a non-creature spell, choose one. Tap target creature, Ojutai Exemplar gains first strike and life length until end of turn. And Eds out Ojutai Exemplars, then return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control. So you can have it, uh, dodge removal that way too. So not bad. And then a planes and a zombie token. Two two zombie token. Alright, nice, not bad. So we got a myth it there. So let's 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 go ahead and set that down. Alright, got our nets pack here. There we go. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright, Avon Tactician, Hand of Cylinder. Stream Reach Brawler, Resupply. Oh, that's this is actually kind of a decent card. It's a sit draw, but you gain six life and then draw a card. It's not, it's not too bad. Monastery Lore Master, Servant of the Scale, Spider Silk Net, um, Vulturous Avon, Mist of Kirin, Ojitai Summons, another Ukid Cobra, Salt Road Ambushers. A Tarka Monument, and there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I wanted one of these. These are pretty sick. So, it's a 3-drop with add uh, either red or green to your mana pool, and then you can do one red, one green, and four additional. A Tarka Monument becomes a 4 for red and green dragon artifact creature with flying until end of turn. So, basically, you can play this, tap the mana for it, and then when you've got enough mana, you can turn it into a new creature. So, definitely not bad. And our rare is... Ereshen Foremost. 
which is a one drop with two uh, additional whites. Double strike whenever Aerish and Foremost enters the battlefield or attacks. Another target or tar another target warrior creature you control gains double strike until end of turn. So not bad. That's pretty cool. It gives a double strike and a forest and that. So definitely gonna wanna where did that go? A target monument. Gonna wanna hang on to that. Cause that will be going in my deck. Alright, we got still got three pats left. Let's do this. This it was at this point in the last video when I pulled my Ugin. So let's see if we've got what do we got? Narset on the front of this? Let's see if we get an Narset out of this. Wouldn't that be freaking amazing? Because right now I want Sarkon on broken. Because uh, I'm using, gonna have a dragon deck, but Narset is uh, more valuable. So if we wanna we get some money out of it, so we got Dutiful Attendant, Impact Tremors, Student Devotion Tie, Monastery Lore Master, uh, Conifer Strider, Ancient Cart, Pacifism. Oh, sweet! There's the new Pacifism. Oh, dang! Cool, nice. Epic Confrontation, which is cool. He's punching a dragon in the face. How cool is that? That's freaking sick. Uh, Atarka Ifrit. Foul Tunshriek. First there is Jomaka Captain. Uh, Scale Guard Sentinel. Youthful Scholar. And our rare is... Obscuring Aether. Face down creatures, spells you cast cost one less. One additional, one green. Uh, turn up strain Aether face down, it becomes a 2 2 creature. And it's one for that. So, that's. If you're running the morph deck, that's pretty good. It'll make everything be cheaper. And. Yeah. And that's pretty much all we got out of that. Alright. Woo! Try it again from this angle. Having a little trouble opening these. There we go. It just works so much easier that way. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Alright, and we've got Hand of Silumgar, Pardon Berserker, Territorial Rock, Negate. Oh, wow. Different version of Negate. There's a reprint of Negate. I did not know that. Oh, dang. I'm going to need to put some of those in there. Um, Tread Upon, Enduring Victory, Epic Confrontation again, Tormenting Voice, Keeper of the Lens. Reckless Imp. Press the advantage. Let's see what this is. Up to two creatures, you uh, two target creatures each gain plus two plus two and gain trample until end of turn. Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll use that on some of my dragons. That'll be pretty freaking sweet. Uh, A not survivalist. And even Sun Shrieker. And then our rare is. Avatar of the Resolute. What do we got here? He's two green for a 3-2. That alone is already pretty good. Holy crap. With Reach and Tramble, Avatar of the Resolute enters a battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it for each other creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Holy crap. Jeez. And a Swamp, and a Dijin token. Alright. So here we go, the last pack. Let's let's see what we get out of here. This is This is the goods. Come on, either Sarkin or Dragon Lord Atarka. That's what we're going for. So, Dramaka Doomcaster, Dutiful Attendant, Impactful Tremors, Colossal Yearling, Gurmod Downer, Vandalize, Fate Forgotten, Flatten, Ancient Carp, Pacifism, Inspiring Call is our first one. First Uncommon. Uh, Orator of Ojitai. Self-inflicted wound, and our rare is Volcanic Vision. And it's a 5 additional for 7, or se 7 drop, 5 additional, 2 red. Return target instru return target instru or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Volcanic Vision deals damage equal to that card's converted mana cost to each creature your opponent controls. Exile Volcanic Vision. Okay, that's that could hurt quite a bit. And an island with a goblin token. Alright, so that's it. So nothing too exciting out of there. Uh, that happens, though. Got my Atarka Monuments, and we got one Mythic, so... Uh, this is just a video to show you guys, you know... Um, 
but I'm still doing, you know, opening new sets and everything when they come out. It's actually my birthday. This is actually my birthday present. Yay for that. So, um, happy birthday to me with that, uh, that fat pack. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace.